Hi, I'm Jamie from Abode Decorating and this is the Abode Training Academy. Today I'll be teaching airless spraying for people to be learning how to use the machines, health and safety, masking tips, different systems to get the job done. Yeah, the Q1 is is great product. Do you know what I mean, it's, um, they've really come on in the mar in the decorative market. So you know, if you if you take pride in your work, you want you want it to look good. Spend the money, get the right tape. If you paint a fresh piece of skirt in, and the next day you come in and you want to tape it off, and then you take it off in the morning, you're not in oversight of the time. That's going to be left residue and glue. With these tapes, you can leave them for weeks. I've left them on for weeks, mate. Took them off, nothing wrong with it. Absolutely pucker. I always go around first with tape. I always go around with tape first so you'll get a feel for how much tape you're going to need as you do it. Make sure that's all tucked in around there. If you've got the tiniest little bit sticking out that spray won't go around there. So just make sure it's nice and tight. What I do then squeeze in the middle and that's masked up. I would hoover normally because you're just, any any dust that's on the floor, the tape's gonna stick to the dust before it sticks to the surface. So I don't go right into the corner of this, so a couple of inches away. And then you pull your mask back and you twist your hand. Put your tape up, match it at this end, and I come just slightly over. What I do now is I just fold it back to that line and then marry it up in the middle, there. The easiest way to do it is pull down what you need, tack your first corner down, you just tuck in behind whatever you're not using because you've got that nice and tight down there now. Bring your mask in. It's all about the taping. Yeah, it is. It is. It's the taping that's the, is the real art. So, once you master that, the rest of it is easy, I think. I'll spray the first coat on the walls, then I'll spray the ceiling, finish coat, spray the woodwork, then mask off woodwork, and just cut it and roll. You will be trying to keep your arm in sort of like a position like this as you come down and off. Back on. So, right. so you're moving almost this section of your body rather than coming out of this. I try and get jobs where I can spray. Do you Because know I mean? it's way quicker and, it, and if you've got the room, it's, 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 fun, it's a fun process. I enjoy doing it. Do you know what I mean? You know, you know what it's like brush and roll. Yeah. It's very uh, tedious after a while, isn't it? So. <laughs> uh, I've decided to learn spraying uh, to add a new skill to my day-to-day -day work so I can pick up new new avenues of work, increase profits. Um, I'll still be using traditional methods as well, as well as spraying. And of course, very informative, um, got a good teacher. Uh, until now, I've never used Q1. Traditional painting and decorating, I haven't used too much masking tape for, for what I do day-to-day, -day, so going forward spraying, I'll be using a lot of Q1. The course was good, yeah, it was very informative um, and I learnt what I needed to learn today. So I've never used Q1 before but I've, I'm aware of the brand. It seemed good quality tape, it seemed good product, so yes I would use Q1 again.